questions the important four marks question in seventh lesson our first year physics syllabus so the question is define vector product explain the properties of a vector product with two examples so first one we can define the vector product and next one we can write the any two or three properties of vector product and we can write any two examples of the vector product so first one the statement of the definition of the vector product so the vector product between any two vectors is equal to the product of their magnitudes and the sign of angle between the two vectors so if a bar and b bar are the two vectors so the vector product between a bar and b bar so a bar cross b bar is equal to mod a bar mod b bar sin theta or we can write another formula of vector product between the a bar and b bar so a bar cross b bar is equal to a b sin theta so this is the statement definition of vector product and next one we can write the any two or three properties of vector product so the first one the cross product does not obey the commutative law so a cross b is not equal to b cross a this is the first property and second property the vector product obeys the distributive law so we can take the three vectors a bar b bar and c bar now we can write the a bar cross of b plus c is equal to a bar cross b bar plus a cross c and the third property if vectors two vectors are a bar and b bar are perpendicular to each other so we can take the angle between a bar and b bar is equal to theta is equal to 90 degrees so we can take the common formula vector product between two any vectors those are the a bar and b bar so a bar cross b bar is equal to a b sin theta a cross b is equal to a b sin instead of theta we can substitute 90 so sin 90 a bar cross b bar is equal to a b sin 90 means it is equal to 1 so a b into 1 therefore a bar cross b bar is equal to a b so if two vectors are perpendicular to each other so the vector product between two vectors a bar cross b bar is equal to a b and the fourth property if two vectors are parallel to each other so we can take the angles to different ways theta is equal to 180 is the case one theta is equal to 0 degrees is the case two so the common formula a bar cross b bar is equal to a b sin theta a bar cross b bar is equal to a b sin 180 a bar cross b bar is equal to a b sin 180 will be 0 so a b something 0 is equal to 0 so a cross b is equal to 0 and the second case if theta is equal to 0 degrees a cross b is equal to a b sin theta this is the common formula vector product between two vectors a cross b is equal to a b sin 0 a cross b is equal to a b sin 0 means 0 0 into something 0 so a cross b is equal to 0 so this is the fourth property of vector product and the fifth one we can take the i cross j is equal to k and j cross k is equal to i k cross i is equal to j and we can take the anti-clockwise j cross i is equal to minus k k cross j is equal to minus i i cross k is equal to minus j and i cross i is equal to 0 j cross j is equal to 0 k cross k is equal to 0 so this is the fifth property of vector product between any two vectors so we can take any two examples of the vector product so the first one is the torque tau is equal to r cross f so we can write tau is equal to r f sin theta and the second one angular momentum l is equal to r cross p so l is equal to r p sin theta and third one linear velocity v is equal to r cross omega so v is equal to r omega sin theta so in this three example we can write in examination point of view any two examples and we can write any two or three properties and we can must write the definition of the vector product.